Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some recent rumors that have been circulating around the community that do claim that GTA 6 will be a timed exclusive on the PS5. So today we're going to be breaking down these rumors one by one and discussing if Sony does in fact have a payoff for Rockstar to have GTA 6 be a timed exclusive on their platform. So we got a ton of really awesome and interesting information to discuss today. So I recommend you guys stick around for the entire video and if you have not already Already, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But let's go ahead and get right into the two shoutouts of the day and right after that we'll get into the actual video. So today's first quick shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as The Unbelievable. The Unbelievable does some really awesome top 10 style videos now, however in the future they're going to be doing a ton of awesome content including unbelievable life stories, unbelievable news around the world, and also some really cool public unboxings and reviews. Definitely be sure to check out their channel in the description down below and subscribe over there for some really awesome, unique, and also interesting, insightful videos. And today's final quick shout out of the goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Ron B. Ron B is a director, executive producer, and editor for music videos, and he posts some of his best work to his YouTube channel. Definitely be sure to check out his channel in the description down below and subscribe over there to see some of his amazing work that he does for the Masters of Art film company. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So as we all know, Sony and Rockstar Games do have a slight history of partnering together with GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. So for example, there were multiple pre-order bonuses available on the PS4 for Red Dead Redemption 2 that were not available on the Xbox, as well as several online DLCs that did come out early before anyone else on the PS4. And with Red Dead Redemption 2 releasing on the PC on Steam a whole month later before all the other platforms, it is pretty clear that Rockstar is not scared to do exclusives anymore. So that said, we have several insider sources on the GTA 6 subreddit that do claim that Sony paid an undisclosed amount of money to have access to GTA 6 exclusively for about a month after its initial release. Now even though a month doesn't sound like anything too major and a lot of people are totally fine waiting, a lot of people don't realize how massive the GTA series is and it is literally one of the biggest entertainment projects ever in history. So with Sony confirming that the PlayStation 5 will be finally revealed in a holiday season of 2020 and many insider sources and rumors pointing towards GTA 6 being revealed around the same time, it is totally possible and actually likely that Rockstar Games and Sony will team up on an announcement for GTA 6 to showcase how it takes advantage of the new and improved PS5 hardware. And to stir the pot even more, it has been confirmed that Rockstar Games does have several PS5 dev kits around the world and also in the Rockstar Studios in New York City to develop GTA 6 for and also optimize it for the upcoming console hardware. Now as I mentioned earlier, this does does mean if this is in fact true that PS5 will get GTA 6 early, however Xbox will get it a bit later, kind of like how Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to Steam a bit later than other platforms right now. And looking at the specifications for the PS5 that Sony has already revealed and officially released, it does seem like that Rockstar has a ton of power to play with compared to the PS4 and even the PS4 Pro, which are nowhere near the graphics power that is in the PS5. So things like building interiors, as well as others that we discussed in yesterday's video are going to be totally possible with this next generation hardware and rendering engine. Now one big thing to think about here is that if this is in fact true and Sony will be getting an exclusive time for GTA 6, that will totally guarantee that they pretty much win the quote unquote console wars against Xbox. But what it really comes down to is whether the Xbox diehard fans are willing to buy a PS5 just to play GTA 6 early. But for all you Xbox fans that are diehard fans of Xbox and only play on the Xbox 360 and X Xbox One, let me know in the comment section down below if you are willing to buy a PS5 if GTA 6 is a timed exclusive on the console. But hopefully we see some updated news regarding this sometime soon, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled on the Rockstar Games GTA 6 subreddit and also this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding it. And also let me know in the comment section down below what your opinions are on the whole idea of timed exclusives and if you think it is right for gaming companies to partner with developers and also vice versa. Any and all thoughts you have on the subject, let me know in the those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. If you guys did enjoy or if you guys learned something new, make sure you guys drop a like. And also, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe down below with those bell notifications on so you guys are always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you very much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.